All right, so audio is a very, very important aspect of a smartphone because you would listen to music, you would play games, and you would do a ton of other stuff. Now, what happens when you install a custom ROM? The first thing that you lose, at least on Xiaomi devices, is MIUI Dolby. Now, I'm not really saying that MIUI Dolby makes a world of a difference to your audio experience, but it definitely adds value to a given ROM. Now, if you could get that on any custom ROM, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? So that's what we're going to do in today's video. We're going to see how to install MIUI Dolby on any Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco device. Of course, you need root access and a custom ROM to go with it, but I'll guide you completely step by step till the end of the video and your audio experience will be much, much better. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, some people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, as I said, you know, the first prerequisite for you to achieve this is Magisk, that is root access. Now, of course, this is Corvus OS's latest version on the Note 10 Pro that we are running. I don't have root access installed. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the Magisk APK. Now, if you're already rooted, you can definitely go ahead and skip this step. Now, the moment you see over here, I am not rooted, right? So let's, let's actually see here. Super user is grayed out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to reboot into TWRP for which we will press and hold volume up and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the Redmi logo. Okay, I do see the MIUI SR logo in my case because that's what the previous ROM on this device was for me. So the moment you boot into TWRP, you need to go to install and we'll go to downloads and select the Majisk APK, swipe to confirm flash. Routing process for this particular device is pretty straightforward. So no issues or surprises there. Let's wait for the root to be installed correctly. Okay, now as you can see, everything went fine. So let's reboot to system. Now the good thing about this particular mod is irrespective of what custom ROM you are on, it actually integrates it into the sound settings. So whoever has designed this particular mod, they've done a pretty good job. And the cohesive experience is what we are always looking for. And I hope for the same in this particular mod. Let's wait for the device to boot up. I'll quickly first show you the settings of the sound menu. And after we've installed the mod, we will see that as well. Okay, so we booted into Corvus. And uh, first things first, we will look at Magisk over here. Let's hope it is rooted just fine. It's taking its sweet time. Yep, we have the super user option enabled. Now let's quickly go to settings once again. And let's go to sound. Now, as you can see over here, you have all sorts of options because of course this is Corvus OS, but you don't really have the Dolby option available. Now, the first thing that you would do is you would go to this modules section over here and then select install from storage. And we will first install the MIUI core Magisk module. As you can see, it's extracting the module files, it's installing and bam, it is done. Right now we will do a reboot once just to be safe. Ideally, you can install both the modules and then do a reboot once, but I prefer to do it twice just to make sure that everything goes smooth and sound. Let's wait for the device to boot up again. All right. Now, just like that, we booted into Corvus OS. So what we'll do is first we will go to Majisk and we will see if the MIUI core module is installed correctly or not. So go to modules and as you can see, it is installed. So go to install from storage and now select MI sound. Okay, select this file. It's installing, installing, extracting module files. Okay, it's checking the ROM. Bam, it is installed. We're going to do a reboot once again. This is the last reboot that we're going to need on this particular ROM for this particular process. Now, this is relatively a simple, straightforward installation. And remember, it works on all the latest custom ROMs no matter if you have a Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco device. So this is a universal mod, which is an even better thing. Let's wait for the device to boot up. All right, so once again, we've booted into Corvus OS. So let's first go to Magisk and verify that both the modules that we have flashed have installed just fine, okay? Now, as you can see, both of them are installed correctly. Now let's see the magic in settings and let's go to sound, okay? Sound effect. There you go, Dolby Atmos or MIUI Dolby, whatever you want to call it, dynamic video, music, voice, 
all the options are available once or twice you might have some issues as you can see it really depends on rom to rom but for the most part it is working absolutely fine as you can see and let me also just uh, go ahead and try to play some music uh, this is a fresh rom that i have flashed so let's see if we can play youtube in split screen let's go ahead and close this here and let's see if we have split screen okay split top and this at the bottom all right so over here let's play some ncs music okay ncs flares one of my favorites here let's increase the volume okay I don't know how clearly you can hear this, but there's definitely a difference when you are enabling and disabling Atmos. Let's change the preset over here. Okay, definitely making a difference. There you go. So let's pause this and let's take this up. Now, this was on the phone speaker. So the experience will be even more pronounced and even more better when you use it on earphones, Bluetooth earbuds and stuff like that. Adjust sound to earphones, equalizer, volume adjustment, headphone, remote buttons, control option and assign button. So, you know, all these options are present. Dolby Atmos is definitely working as expected. So with this mod, you get very good experience, although you do need Majisk installed, root access installed, and it will work on almost all the custom ROMs, all the three types of devices, Xiaomi, Redmi, and Poco. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this mod? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.